what is our family welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning on on today's video i'm going to share with you on how to make money using canva on the last video i shared on how to make money within the canva platform itself so if you missed that video i will put it on the description box for you to go check it out before we get on with today's video if you are new to the platform welcome to my channel my name is queen magomani here i share different methods ideas strategies and ways of making money online so if you want to learn that and more ensure to subscribe to the channel also give this video a thumbs up if you are into this type of content or you simply appreciate this type of content now we're gonna go straight into it i'm going to be sharing with you guys different ways in which you can use canva you know to make money online and trust me it is one of the best platforms or free platforms which you have at your disposal to do a lot of things so i'm going to be exploring some of those ideas and some of the things which you can do on canva to make money online so here we go idea number one is to start freelancing as a designer using canva if you go to platforms like freelancer.com upwork.com and many different freelancing platforms and look at the proposals which people have on the kind of designs which they will do you realize that they can easily be done on canva if you look at youtube thumbnail designers for instance you will see that some of the elements which they have there you can find on canva and you can create the exact same type of thumbnails for others on those platforms using canva another way you can use canva is to start a print on demand business where you can design different merchandise different uh, designs using canva and start your business with canva so let me just show you an easy way to create a design for your print on demand business so what you will do is you come onto canva on the top tabs here you'll select features and it will show you different features which you have on canva this includes print products which is what we're looking for right now so if you want to create let's say a t-shirt design you click on t-shirt here on this page here you will start designing but this is currently available for the us ca au new zealand and europe i think it's europe only it's coming soon to other countries so the great thing about canva is that they roll out very quickly so it could be coming to your country very soon so you'll select a style which you want to create your t-shirt for if it's in hospitality you can create the style if it's in fitness if it's for personal or charity so what's happening here is this is if you want to create print on demand within the canva platform however if you are from all those other countries where you cannot create within canva platform itself what you need to do is to go back to your home page so on the home page look on the far right where you see create a design so what we're going to do here is you want to create a custom design because when you are creating your designs for print you want to make sure that they come out as good quality so on canva you want to select the best or the biggest size possible so what you do after clicking on custom design just go to the bottom where it says custom design so this is where you're going to select the size of your custom design and the biggest size so far on canva which i found is 5,000 by 5,000 pixels. So this is how it's going to look like. If you have a design outside of Canva, you can go and upload your design here where it says upload into Canva. And then if you don't have a design out of Canva, you want to create it from scratch, you have different options here. You have photos which you can use. You have elements, different elements which you can use. So if you want, let's say a heart element, you just come here and type heart and it will show you many different ele hard elements which you can use in Canva to create your design. You also have different text and text pair on Canva which you can use to create your design. So you have this effect text, you have text pairs like this ones here. You also have different fonts which you can find by clicking on a plain font and then on the right here click the drop down arrow to see all the different fonts which you can use for your design and they also come in different styles as well so you can explore and find the best one for your design. If you want to create your design on a background you also have different backgrounds which you can use for your design. 
So this is just an example of how you can create a design for your print on demand store. So once you're done, you select download to download your design. You can select to download as a PNG or JPEG or a PDF, whichever format works for the print on demand platform, which you are using. And you can select also the size, depending on what kind of size your print on demand platform can take. If you want to design for a sticker, you can select a transparent background, but if you want your whole design with all its colors, you can just download onto your machine then upload onto your different print on demand platforms the great thing about this is starting a print on demand business is free and designing on canva is free i do all my print on demand designs using canva and guess what some of those designs are selling another design business which you can start on canva is a digital download uh, business where you can design dis different things which you sell online things like this kind of prints which you see on my background here are the kinds of digital prints which you can create on canva easily you can sell this type of digital products on platforms like teespring as well as etsy so if you are a regular on my channel you might know that i talk about etsy a lot it's one of my favorite platforms for selling and buying digital products so guys i wanted to show you some of the examples of digital downloads which you can create and sell on etsy so i'm now on etsy and i typed digital downloads so here are the results so if you look here, there are some which are photography, some are watercolor, uh, drawings and so forth. So you need to be artistic, obviously, for you to create those. But there are simple ones like this uh, Pilates poster here where someone just, uh, you know, got different Pilates moves or positions and, you know, create a digital print on that. And this is one of the best sellers so you'll see it has around 153 reviews if you look at some of the best sellers like this uh, cute one here be salty digital print has got 748 uh, reviews there and it's a best seller but if you look at it it's a simple design which you can create on canva this faith one here faith leopard print buffalo if you go and create on canva and search for leopard print you might find this exact Exact same print in the exact same color or you can be able to change the color even this checked one here you'll see that it's there on canva the brush stroke so they just became creative and they created a design with a cross and the word faith on it and it's one of the best sellers with 85 reviews you do get very very simple ones like this cupcake here it's it's got 3557 reviews so generally people review a thing when they've bought it and you know they want to just share information on that product yeah it's a, it's one of the best sellers and as you can see it is a simple design which you can find on canva just change colors around and you can do so legally other kinds of digital prints which you can sell are this set of botanical prints if you go on canva and search for botanical prints you will see that there's quite a lot of them there's a lot of them you can create uh, prints here and you sell so if you want to find out how people are selling here how they're setting up store you can find all the information on google and you can also come here and click on one of these digital prints to find you know the sizes which they are creating these prints on so that you have an idea when you go onto canva to create your own print so you'll see the different sizes they these people generally leave information on you know what sizes they're selling the posters on oh here we go so if you look here at the bottom the, they're selling them as three files so there's a four by six six by nine eight by twelve ten by fifteen twelve by eighteen so you can simply go on there and you create these digital images or this digital prints in those sizes and they're also giving jpeg files to fit the international paper size so there's the kind of information you can come here to learn about and so that you can create your your digital uh your digital print you know with knowledge so this is one platform where you can sell this kind of print and if you click on every image you'll see that you'll see the sales how many sales they've made on this product so as you can see cc and sub have got these beautiful uh botanical prints digital downloads and they've sold over thirty two thousand eight hundred and eight of them so they've made 32,308 sales for these three prints they come as a set so i'm not selling for them i'm just showing you guys um you know what is possible from canva you know to different other platforms 
Some of you requested to see how to upload as a contributor on Canva. Well, it's pretty simple. First of all, you need to have images which you want to upload. It could be videos or graphics as well, stored somewhere on your PC or your phone if you are using your mobile phone. Then on the website, go on to learn and then navigate to find design school, which will be on the right side of that whole tab. Once you've landed on the design school page, uh, you'll need to scroll down all the way to the bottom. So then at the bottom, you'll navigate to find company. So under company, you would click on contributors. Now, I always like going through the learn tab because it's easier for me. There could be other ways to get to this tab. After clicking contributors, you will land on this page here. So welcome to the library that empowers the world to design. You'll simply click get started. After clicking get started, you will land on this page. So from this page, you'll be able to select a file which you want to upload as a contributor. So when you click select, it will enable you to navigate to where you've stored your file. So I'll just select this picture as an example. So once you've selected this picture, you have these tabs here at the bottom. So you have two tick boxes here at the bottom. So the first tick is I want my consent to be available to users for free. So you will not earn any royalties if you select this option. The second option is I am the owner of the content and have releases for any people, property and brands shown in the content. So if you own that piece of picture or video that you're uploading as a contributor, you can click this part the second tick box at the bottom and click submit one paid item now i won't be submitting this one it's not mine but this is what you would do and then you will wait for canva to do a review on your picture or video or graphic which you've uploaded then the next day or some few hours they will tell you whether it's approved or not approved once approved, you can go ahead and give your item a name. You also need to put in different tags on your name so that it's discoverable within the Canva platform. I will see you on the next video. Until next time, you have a great time.